The IT15T2 signal analyzer is a compact, handheld, affordable instrument. IT15T2 is able to satisfy all your measurement needs when working with analog signals and digital DVB-T and T2 signals. Its ergonomic plastic housing and the rubber case make the instrument highly rugged and shock resistant. The built-in lithium-ion battery ensures uninterrupted operation of your instrument in the field. On the front panel of the instrument you can see a USB port for connection to a PC and a port for an external power supply for powering the instrument and charging the battery. You can also charge the device from a car cigarette lighter by using a special adapter. A replaceable F connector input is located at the top of the instrument. A DC voltage output can optionally be supplied via this connector to power an active antenna. The instrument also allows for measuring the voltage of an external power supply. Now let's have a look at the functions and operating modes of the instrument. The first mode is scan. Once you enter the scan mode, the instrument will automatically search for channels and determine their types, analog or digital, as indicated by an A or D character. The instrument will also check the components of the input TV signal and measure the channel level in real time. Level mode will help you measure specific parameters of the channel. The instrument can perform the following measurements in this mode. For analog channels, signal level, video to audio ratio and carrier to noise ratio. For digital channels, the channel power is measured. In this mode you can also measure the DC and AC voltage of an external power supply in a cable network from 10 volts up to 100 volts. Tuning can be performed either by channel or by frequency with level measurement in frequency points. The instrument can also optionally provide audio indication of the signal level. From the sound you can check the channel level without looking at the screen. The spectrum mode is used for spectrum analysis of the input signals. In this mode you can measure the power spectrum with a span of between 14 MHz and 110 MHz. Use the F1 and F2 keys to set the scanning range. The instrument screen will show traces of the average and peak measurements for catching intermittent noise. The next mode is Ripple. In this mode you can measure the difference between levels of two selected channels. This is how you can set the markers to the channels to be measured. The difference between the levels is shown here. This mode is especially helpful in measurement of the level of ripple across all the channels. The next mode is MER and BER. It is one of the fundamental measurements for determining the receive quality of digital TV channels. For DVB-T2 and DVB-T channels, the analyzer measures MER and BER values, as well as the number of error packets at the output. The modulation parameters of the measured channel are shown in table format. Press F1 to view the table. If a channel contains several independent PLP streams, the instrument allows for measuring the reception quality parameters for each stream separately. Constellation mode. The constellation diagram allows you to check the noise signature for distortions such as ingress, phase noise, amplifier compression, and other types of distortions. All these distortions decrease the receive signal to noise ratio, so measuring them is helpful for finding defective devices in the network. The next mode is echo diagram. In this mode you will see the echo amplitudes from their delays relative to the main signal. The echo diagram allows for checking the signal content received by an antenna in a multipath reception. Using this mode, you can adjust the receiving antenna to minimize the amount of echo. Now let's have a look at the data logger functionality. The data logger is used for automation of the measurement process. First, the instrument creates a channel plan, which is a set of channel parameters for the network. It can be created automatically. Then you can use the channel plan for making measurement results of which are tested against the limit plan. The measurement results are saved in the instrument's memory and can later be analysed, saved to file or printed as a report when IT15T2 is connected to a PC. The instrument can be connected to a PC and controlled by software available at our website free of charge. This software provides the following benefits. You can easily manage the data logger. 
create, view and edit the channel plans and channel data logs, as well as download them to or upload them from your instrument. You can view the measurement results as graphs and tables and print them out. You can run your instrument as a virtual instrument and measure all the signal parameters. You can update the instrument firmware. It should be noted that Planar LLC not only provides warranty and post-warranty servicing and user support, but continually enhances the firmware and software of our products. For more information, please visit our website or contact us at the following telephone numbers.